Hey everyone and welcome back. Today is another edition of what is on my face. Be a hand model. <laughs> Anyways, um, for the lighting right now is making my face look kind of extra white and I'm not really sure how to change that yet. I'm still working on that. But let's get into what I'm using. There are three or four different products that I do have on my face that are new that I am trying out and I will give you kind of an update um, maybe a review if you would like to see that on how I personally like them so without further ado let's get into what's on my face and for the first step I am trying something new it is a new liquid foundation and it is covergirl creamy natural in shade 15 now I like this. This is the first time I've used it. I've liked the way it feels. Um, I do believe it might be a shade too light for my skin. So I am going to go to a shade in 16. As you can see it has up here. They claim to have every shade for every skin type. So we're going to see how that works and see if I can find the perfect shade for me. But yeah, the, cover, the foundation that I have, I cannot speak. The foundation I have is the True Blend CoverGirl Liquid Makeup Base Foundation for number 15. If you can see. Now, for the second part, I'm trying out another new thing. And this is actual review product that I received to review. And it is by Delancey. Delancey, I believe is how you say it. And it just looks like this. And then when you open it up, you just, it's cool because you can just press this little button and pick it up and you've got your mirror and you've got this little um, pad, as you can see, and you can see I used it this morning and you put your pad back into place and you open it up and it looks like that. So that is another thing I am trying out. <laughs> Be my dogs barking in the background I'm sorry they think they hear and see everything today um, but like I said this was a review product and I'm trying it out I believe it's a little light for my skin but it did work quite well and I actually like how it kind of like covered up a little bit in here more than the actual foundation did so I think that these two together was a pretty pretty cool idea um, and they work well together actually so but this was actually from Amazon the BB cream was from Amazon and it was an Amazon review so I figured I would try that today then the next thing was actually it is not a review product but I will be doing a review on it and it is by AliExpress it's one AliExpress if you haven't heard of it is one of those types of websites where you can get things um, for cheap and they come from China some people call it the Chinese eBay but you don't do auctions or anything like that it is just simply buying it directly from the seller and it comes from China so it will take I think this one took about a month to get here but it is the pop feel full cover concealer and it's just this little tiny thing and if I will put the links to some of this stuff in the description box but it has it has kind of a little bit of an odor smell to it but kind of like a makeup-y chemically a little bit not really chemically I can't describe it but you you do notice a small smell if you actually smell the concealer <laughs> but once you get it on you don't really smell anything but it just looks like this and as you can see I kind of got kind of used it a little bit so it's just that and I've got to say I really liked it 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 says it's full cover and it actually did pretty good guys it covered up I have not really dark circles but I do have a few dark spots underneath my eyes and it covered them up pretty well if you can see let's get up close and personal my lights you can see it kind of covered up and 
I have right in here a few little scars right here from when I had the chicken pox, but whatever. Um, it covered those pretty well, and you can't really see them, I mean, unless you're, like, looking right up in my face. But it did pretty good, and that is the FCO2 Pop Feel Concealer. Now, <clears throat> let's see. For my eyebrows, this was actually given to me by my sister-in-law, so I decided to try it. I'm still learning how to fill in the eyebrows, how to fix the eyebrows. Because if I do not fill in my eyebrows and make them a little bit darker, guess what? You can hardly see them. So, she gave me the NYX, um, let's see, NYX eyebrow pencil, and it is an EP04, and it's just in brown. So this is what I do have on my brows, and I'm loving it. Um, I have no issues. They don't fade off. Um, well, I, I say they don't fade off. They do fade a little bit by the end of the day, but I've still got eyebrows that you can see. If it was to wash off, you could not see my eyebrows at all. So, this is what is on my eyebrows. It's the NYX Eyebrow Pants Pen Pencil. It's the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in brown. Now, for my um, highlighter and the contouring stuff. I am still using this Lush Minerals. Um, I still love it. It was a review on Amazon that I did and I actually love it and it just looks like this and then when you open it up it looks like that. You got all of your different shades of colors. I have been using this color for highlight and this color for my bronze. So I really like it. It's something that I've been using. So it's really nice product. But that is contouring. And for my cheeks, I don't even know if you can see because of the lighting, the, um, yeah, you probably cannot even see the blush. That's the word I'm looking for. I cannot think. Today is not a good day for videos apparently because I can't even think. But anyways, it is the Makeup Geek XOXO blush and it looks like that. This I got in a subscription box and I'm not really sure. I can't remember which one right offhand, but there's a video on it <laughs> on my channel so you can look back at my subscription boxes and see. But it looks like this and it's really really pretty I've been using it I think every time I've used blush I don't really have many blush products so and then the ones I do have besides this one are like from the Dollar Tree and stuff so this was cool now oh another thing that goes with my eyebrows is um, I've been using this highlighter it is by hard candy and it's by the brows now it's supposed to have the brow fiber gel attached to it. As you can see, there's nothing here. I haven't really cared for that too much. I mean, I use it and it works well and everything. But I love the highlighter that comes with it. And it just kind of gives the brows underneath a, high, a nice highlight. So that's what I'm wearing with the brows, which I should have showed with the NYX brow pencil. But that's okay. We're getting this done. <laughs> Um, for my eyes, I just used this e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow, and it looks like this. And this is cool because, let's open it up and maybe you can see it. Sorry if I'm sniffling, guys. I've had some, like, allergy stuff. But, whoa, you can definitely tell I've been using this. <laughs> it lets you know, I don't know if you can see, because some of it's lighter. But you see, this says crease. No. Base lid crease. And this is your, like, you know, for a little bit of color and stuff. So that's cool. This is what I have on my eyes. Let's see if I can show you. You can kind of see up in the crease and stuff. So that's cool. That's what's on my eyes. Now, this I got in another subscription box. And this is the um, double ego dual ended 
eyeliner and it is in the color Bora Bora. Now this is what I'm wearing as my waterline under here. Um, and it's not what I am wearing up on the top of my lashes here. Um, I can't even think of what the word is. Whatever. But this is what I'm wearing and I am using the this side of it for to mark out my waterline. And it works good. I do notice that it does come off during the day so you kind of have to apply it a few times. But that's okay. I just usually if I'm wearing it for the day I just usually stick it in my purse and use it when I need to. Then this, y'all are going to laugh at me, but this is awesome. This is a liquid eyeliner that I have purchased at the local Family Dollar Store. That's right. You heard me right. The Family Dollar Store. This stuff is awesome. The, the blue, the, I've got the purple too, but the purple doesn't kind of come off of my skin like it should, but the blue is awesome. And it just, it looks like that. You see that? It's all it is, and I think I paid maybe a dollar for this, but look. Can you see? I hope I don't look like an idiot. Um, it comes off really well. It's easy to apply. I'm still learning the, that part, so if it looks like crap, don't kill me. <laughs> you can let me know in the comment section maybe of how kind of you do it or whatever, or send me a link to a video to watch. I don't mind. But, um, this is cool. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I will definitely be getting more of this. Like I said, the purple doesn't come off too well, but the blue is amazing. And I purchased it for a dollar at the Family Dollar. Now this I got in an influencer box. Yes, I said that like that because I barely get selected for any of those. But I did get selected for the Rimmel London Volume Colorist Mascara. And I like it because, I don't know if you can tell, can you see my lashes? <laughs> can you see them? It makes my lashes look like they do with the um, 3D mascara and all I have to do is one step. I'm not putting on the gel or the base and then putting on the mascara. Simply putting on the mascara. And the wand looks like that. So it's a nice wand. Everything goes smoothly. There's no clumping. There's no nothing on this. And I absolutely love it. And I will be purchasing more because it's supposed to stain your lashes over time and make them darker. Which I kind of have darker lashes to begin with. But I like it just to use as mascara. So, anyways, moving on. This thing I just got in the mail day before yeah the day before yesterday um I watched YouTube videos on how it was and I was like that's kinda cool I wanna use it and I wanna try it so I looked on AliExpress and lo and behold they had it it is the WOW long lasting lip color in rose pink let me tell you something <laughs> when I tried this on my hand I was pretty shocked because it looked red let me just show you guys I'm going to show you. It just looks like this, um, you know, any kind of lip gloss. I did this, I just kind of put it on my lips. I would suggest getting a, um, a, a lip brush and putting it on that way because I did kind of screw up and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like, okay, this is hard to talk and show you kind of in the corners and stuff I didn't get any and then some is like got on my lip and it does stain well let me tell you it hardly transfers at all if to nothing I had put this on my hand just to test it out and see how long it would last I did dishes I got a shower <laughs> I washed my hair because I did that video I did everything and it was still on my hand. I was highly impressed. My mom was shocked. She's like, why can't they make eyeshadow like that? If you guys know of any eyeshadow or eyeliner that stays this well, let me know in the description box because she's looking. But anyways, enough with that. Let's just show you. What you do, and I hope it dries and doesn't take too long. 
is it scared me when I put it on my hand, okay? You just do that. Now look. Tell me that's not red. Okay? That is red. But when it dries, you peel it off and it comes this color. So that is pretty awesome and like I said you can wipe it, um, let's see, look, do you guys see any color on my finger at all? I do not see any colors and it's still just like it was. So I'm not going to take this off. Just let me know if you guys, because I really kind of want to do um, a review on this. I'm going to wear it all day today and see. Let me know if you want me to do a review and show you how to put it on and, well, to my knowledge how to put it on because, like I said, I did screw up a few times. But, i got to say, when it was red and it was shiny and I, my looks, my looks, my looks, <laughs> My lips look like leather. I will tell you that. They look like a leather. And it sucks when you have it on. Be sure not to talk or do anything because it was all over my teeth. But I found quickly brushing my teeth worked well and my lipstick was still on. Or my lip stain, excuse me. So this stuff was amazing. I didn't pay much for it on AliExpress. So like I said, I will link it in the description box below. But, anyways, that is it for my video of what is on my face. Let's do the hand model. <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, I've gotten a few watches on it and a couple of thumbs up, I think. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know what some of the best um, products are, especially for oily skin. I do have oily skin, so let me know. But, yeah, that's it for this and I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's see I hope you guys it's a week ain't it yeah yesterday was a little hectic for us so still kind of thought it was a weekend um I hope you guys enjoy your week and I will see you guys next time bye